Exploring Battle Mage. The exciting new graphics architecture that promises to bring a whole new level of performance and innovation. Let's see what makes Battle Mage stand out and how it could change the game for both gamers and creators alike. So now we're going to take a look at a few articles here to give us some solid ideas on what we can expect from Battle Mage. The first article we'll be looking at is from xda-developer.com. Hope you're still here. We've got more to look at. Stay with us. This part is very crucial. So apparently the article mentions a bunch of rumors on Battle Mage. Just by the way, Intel's Battlemage lineup is the successor to the Alchemist series of GPUs. It's speculated that these may perform much better than some of NVIDIA's RTX 40 GPUs. When Intel started making GPUs, they were like four-year-olds learning how to write. Their GPUs had weird designs, they didn't have a proper software stack, their drivers were defective and everything was just chaos. But, and it made their GPUs perform like trash. But now they're more optimized with proper software and hardware so we can expect them to have a chance at competing with other GPU makers. There's a bit of info about their release. Intel may not follow NVIDIA and AMD's timeline. They're still doing quality checks on those GPUs and they may release in 2025. Okay, so about pricing. Intel, as usual, is definitely going to keep providing us with affordable GPUs. One of their best GPUs, which is the ARCA 580, costs $180 which is very good pricing for a 1080p GPU. It also competes quite well with the RX 7600, which is AMD's latest mid-range GPU, from these results from a 3D Mark Time spy test. Also, it says two new GPUs have been found here, the BMG G10 and BMG G21. But apparently one GPU is cancelled, while the other is meant to be a cheaper SKU. And there's another GPU which will be the flagship, the BMG G31. Here's where it gets interesting. The BMG G10, which was supposed to be the flagship, would have had 64 X cores. But the new flagship is going to have fewer than that, most likely 56. And again, it was reduced 32 X cores, which is honestly quite disappointing. It's also expected to have the same power wattage as the current A770. With memory and hardware connections, it's expected to use GDDR6X memory and be compatible with the new PCIe N5. As the cherry on top of the icing, the GPU was will support Linux and DisplayPort UHB R13.5, which sounds amazing. And there's more. They will utilize TSMC's N5P node, which is a 7 nanometer node. There's more and we'll link these websites in the description, so you can have a look at it. Watch for. Stay tuned for more news and reviews. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, most important of all subscribe for more content like this and hit the subscribe button and notification bell for updates. Thanks for watching.